Mr. Kennedy, you were recently at the border. You toured it to get a firsthand look. You called it a dystopian nightmare and said that you would seal the border. And I want to go now to our first question from the audience, Jose Josue from Chicago. Hello. I'm the son of Mexican immigrants and the husband of a Honduran immigrant. And so my question is on immigration. Uh, with Congress unable to reach an agreement on comprehensive immigration reform in decades, what is your plan to address immigration? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, and thank you, Jose. Um, is it Jose? Okay, I, um, I don't think that it's going to be possible to get an immigration reform package through Congress until we seal the border. Because we've got now, uh, we've got now in the last three years, seven million people have come across the border illegally. And it, in, you know, the most disturbing part of me is I witnessed the humanitarian crisis, the cruelty to these people who are being brought to the border. Uh, they're being exploited, they're being extorted, they're being raped, they're being robbed. Um, the cartels are now running U.S. immigration policy, and there, and everybody knows that. And the, there have been nine. We were told by the Border Patrol there have been nine suicides of Border Patrolmen in the last year uh, because they're so demoralized about what's happening. They are literally, well, it took me three days to the border to understand what's happening. The first night I saw, I watched, you know, I got there at two o'clock in the morning, stayed there until about four, and I watched just hundreds and hundreds of people coming across. The first group was about 60 African uh, men from West Africa, mainly from Cameron. Uh, I thought I was going to see Central Americans and, you know, Guatemalans and Salvadorians, and, but I didn't. We only saw in the whole night, there was only two families from Latin America, one from Colombia and one from Peru, and all of them had been brutalized and every penny taken away from them. The, the rest of them were from Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, um, Kazakhstan, Tibet, Nepal, Pakistan, and many, many from China. The cartels are now advertising all over the world that we are, there's an open border. And they, and they are bringing people in. They give them videos about exactly what to do. They fly to Mexico. They're given visas there, internal visas in Mexico. They go from Mexico City on a plane to Mexicali. They're loaded on fleets of buses and then brought to the border. They cross. The only role of the Border Patrol is to stamp them in and check if they have a criminal record. If they don't, they are brought to the airport and they are given to a, a ticket to any city in the United States that they want to go to. Well, they have to demonstrate need and apply for asylum. No, well, it, no they, they're given a court date. And the court date is a cursory court date. It's like an arraignment. And then their real court date, which they don't, they, they, do not, they probably, they're not going to show up to, is seven years later. So they're essentially given a seven-year pass to stay in this country. So and how would you seal the border? Well, you know what? It's it's not that hard. Because I, you know, how would you do it? I would do it. I, I mean, there's a number of things that you have to do. I was against Trump's wall. But having seen it down there, I see that there there's you were required to give a physical bar barrier during certain, not all the way, 2,200 miles from San Diego to Brownsville, Texas, but certain highly densely populated areas, you need a physical barrier. But in the hinterlands, in the wilderness areas, you can use sensors like they do in Israel, the ground sensors and the towers. The sensors of AI breakthroughs too. Uh, but only, but uh, you would rebuild, you would resume the building of, of Trump's uh, border wall? Well, a lot of it now has been rebuilt. You know, it, we, uh, Mayorkas, who's the DHS secretary, recognized that the gaps in that wall, that we shouldn't have left them. But it's not, it's not so much the wall, it's the other sensoring devices that were all uh, ripped up you know, which is, I'm very embarrassed to say by this administration, by the Democratic administration. And also the policies were changed so that the presumption is everybody gets in. And I witnessed it myself. And we can't have well, that. Everybody's not getting in. Yes, everybody gets in. There are crowds of people waiting to try and apply through the new app that the Biden administration has set up. They're setting up. As for legal center. immigration. Oh, you're talking about illegal immigration. I'm talking illegal immigration. Everybody gets in. I watched it. Seven million people have come in. Just the, the, the one little section I, I was at in Yuma, there's 350,000 people came here before. But what, you know, I met with the Yuma authorities. I met with the hospitals. I met with, the, you know, the, 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 the centers that take care of the immigrants who are, you know, beleaguered. 
I met with the Border Patrol and the sheriff, and everybody agreed it could be stopped. It could be wound down to what it was before this administration, which was about 25 people a day, which is not a big problem. But having now, it's 300 to 800 a day. And that, you know, no nation can survive if they can't protect their borders. We need, I would, you know, as president, I will expand legal immigration. I will make it easier, particularly for workers to come across on the H visas and, um, and then, you know, and bring in and have an orderly system that benefits our country. We need immigration is good for our country. This kind of immigration is unfair to everybody and particularly to the immigrants that have been brought here. And then over the long term, they, you know, the immigrants that have poured in from Latin America, a lot of them are coming up because of policies, wrongful policies that the U.S. has had the drug wars, the, uh, the austerity programs, the support of UNTA is the, you know, the war on the poor that we've maintained so for so many years, and we need to change those policies. As well. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.